Right. <laughs> it looked like we've not done anything. So, yeah, I missed out the first part of the class. Those of you that are watching the recording, you'll just have to imagine what happened. Huh. Yeah, Mike did that the other day, forget to press record, and then he was going to share what happened, and then he couldn't because it wasn't there. <laughs> so, yeah. So we're... OK, let, let's pause a sec. You want to get your hands nice and big. So you want to relax in the wrist. You want to open the palm of the hands and have that soft but firm feeling in the fingers. But you also want to and, and you want to relax around this bit and that bit. You want that all nice and relaxed. So let's think relaxing thoughts. And then we'll come back to it. So we'll just. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. So those of you that are watching the video, we did um, the turning exercise with the arms, uh, sinking the hips, lengthening through the spine, breathing with a relaxed but alert gaze. There we are. Right, I've caught everybody up now. So let go in your lower back. So keep going. Let go around here. Let go around there. And we're... Okay, now twizzle around the elbow. So you're, you're opening your chest and you're nice and tall. And breathing. Fabulous. Keep breathing some more. Well done. And change. So feel, feel the weight shift, focus more on the weight shift and really relax the arms. And we're breathing. Good. Okay. And next. Yeah, that was so good. We better stop. <laughs> so there we go. And we just, oh, so, you know, imagine you're an ex member of state. Oh, that is all I will say about that issue. Yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of very happy cousins in America right now. So keep breathing, relax the palms of the hands and just oh, and feel the springs in the body and you're letting go in your lower back, you're lengthening, you're nice and relaxed and you're breathing 
Very good, very good. Okay, now sink the hips and we're going to turn and just feel those arms moving. Really let go, really let go in those shoulder joints and just pay attention to what you are noticing. I'll show you that from the sideways view so sideways view so i set myself up first and then once i'm set up that's when i move it's all very relaxed and loose there we go and we're using the feet and change Okay, have a little shake out. Okay, we'll just start with silk reeling number one, actually. Yeah, so get yourself in your horse stance. You don't have to go that deep. Um, make sure your knees are in line with the toes. Um, you got your arm out. Oh, uh, just to let you know, my teacher Barry McGinley, starting the 26th of um january what day is that is that a tuesday i think isn't it hang on 20 seconds friday uh, i'll work it out i think it's a tuesday morning at seven o'clock in the morning he's doing like a fitness sort of pe class and you need a yoga mat and uh sounds quite painful but seven in the morning on the tuesday morning I'm, I'm kind of tempted. <laughs> I've been getting a lot out of his classes, but uh, in the meantime, you can just come here, nice leisurely class at lunchtime. So you just want to really relax, really relax and float the arm. That's it. Sink your shoulders, keep your shoulders level. So what you want to do is you want to use your picture, what you can see, to check that you're doing it correctly. So one of the good things about Zoom classes is you can actually check your bone posture. Feel the weight shift. So there's a shift of the weight. I'll, I'll try not to do the splits. <laughs> Sink the hips. Sink the hips. And we're breathing. Okay, now think of the back moving your arm. So this is a relatively new thing I've picked up from ever. Think about the back. So you're engaging your back. OK, that was so good. We're going to do that on the other side now. So you want to get yourself set up, get yourself set up first. We go one, two, it scoops underneath three, four, and it turns out at the top and you're engaging with your back. Thank you. 
So use your back, use your eyes, float the hand. Okay, number two, number two. So get your posture, think about opening in your shoulder joints, lengthening through the spine. Keep the shoulder open, we bring it across, relax the palms of the hands, relax the arm, and you're just floating the arm So this is very good for building up the strength in your legs. That's Tai Chi teacher code. Okay, one more. And just really let the arm go. Now let the other arm go and just feel the weight of the arm. And then we'll just very slowly start. You can start quite slow and you can speed up a little if you need to. But you've got this very light quality to your arm movement. So the arm is being directed by the body. So, uh, yeah. And we're all breathing. Brilliant. If that wasn't exciting enough, we'll do a few more. Now really relax here, really relax here. And then seamlessly bring the other arm in doing silk reeling number one. Oh, seamless. Perfect. Very good. So you've all passed the audition for the display team. We're going to have an online display team. I've I threatened my other class with it. I'll put everyone on gallery view and record a mini display team video and put it up on Facebook. So you better practice. <laughs> Fabulous. So we're sinking down. We're not, we're nice and relaxed. And we're breathing. That's it. Okay. Get your shoulders a bit more level and your hips a bit more level. And wet. Use your back. Okay, we'll do three more in this direction and then we'll change directions. One, two, 
three and then when you get to the bottom corner seamlessly look at that fabulous so next time you're in the post office queue um light and soft arms and relax very good okay we'll do a bit of dragon serves teacups just to get our arms um in the right kind of condition i'll just show that to you um so demonstration one two three four okay and then let, let's let's uh let's do that so you don't have to have a massive horse stance it can be you can even do it in Wu Chi if you want but I just prefer giving myself a little bit more room to maneuver um I, I find it I find it a bit easier you want to check um check that your shoulders are level check that your hips are level and you're sinking and there's this springy feeling in the body but also very connected and you're connecting through the ground connecting through the ground so we start here like this i remember when you uh you've got the little finger on the lower dantian thumbs on the back that's quite a useful way in um yeah so i'm starting this side first and we'll do uh yeah let's do 20. yeah Okay, here we go. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and begin. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, right, we're halfway, halfway, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Dragon serves teacup. So, you know, you might be at home and you might be a bit, you know, we're all sort of until we've all got our vaccines we're all stuck at home really aren't we so um so you get a cup of tea and then you just for fun you can see if you can keep the tea and you know next time you make a cup of tea you can then give it to your who you're living with so there you go and try not to spill it on the kitchen floor mm. very nice um, Barry, Barry McGinley said that this one, as well as called Dragon Serves Teacups, it's also called Drunken Dragon Serves Tea. So it's sort of 
oh, I, th I think that's quite funny. So um, yeah, you can you can even that's the advanced version. If you've um, they they actually it's actually a real thing in China. Um, they do this drunken kung fu thing, and um, what, one of Mike's teachers was also a drunken kung fu master. And what what they do is at some point they do drink lots to get very drunk. Not not to do it all the time, but just to sort of get the feeling of it's a bit extreme for me. But uh, <laughs> but you can do do all the movements without having to imbibe. You can just get the same the very relaxed floppiness apparently but i've not i've only seen little bits and bobs of it but it looks quite good because it's very unpredictable because they have all these very strange movements and it's quite good it's quite good yeah so um okay let's do this one just to get just to get our shoulder working so we'll start that one first so it goes towards then it goes away and then it kind of melts i'm still trying to I've been trying to do this one for months now. Corel threw it at us one Saturday and and then we all took part and joined in and none of us could do it like normal. But so you just ugh. and now and now try the other side. Now eventually what you do is you make that foldy shape. So you come this way, you come this way, then you fold here. So you get a you get a kind of back workout as well. It's a good one for the spine. Okay, try, try the other side. So you turn towards, you turn away, and then you do a little fold here. It's quite good. So you're not, there are movements that require a kind of using this movement as well as your waist turning movement. Um, you see it more in martial arts such as Xin Yi Chuan and Yi Chuan. I'm, I'm hoping for another shingy lesson with a guy called Paul Andrews. Very good, very good. Um, it's actually been to China to learn. And then you just. That's it. Yeah, it's a bit tricky, this one. The only way you can do it is actually by doing it until your body works out what it's supposed to do. That's the best. Um, I've been trying to do this for a while. And um, all right, we're just doing this. I'll just uh, make sure your sound uh, switched uh, off. Brilliant. Well done for making it. Fabulous. Yeah. That's more like it. Okay, right. Now what we're going to do is we'll do stroking the beard, short beard and long beard, and then we'll do um, touching the um, knee. So, but we'll we'll start with we'll start with the stroking the beard. So you want to get yourself in a good posture first, nice and tall, and then we go like this. And we've got a short beard first. So we're like this and we're, and we're doing our soft focus gaze. So it's like the eyes of a sleepy tiger. And we're breathing. Oh, that's it. So remember you've got your short beard. So it's, it's like someone imagine a, a there's a bit, a wind and it's one of those beards that um, the hipsters wear and that kind of sticks out that way a bit. Not very practical if you're trying to wear a mask, is it? But anyway, <laughs> so I'll just be quiet. So go like this and just see it from the other side. So I'm looking forward. 
listening behind it's very good for your shoulders this and as you push down you sink with your like you're about to sit down so okay right now we do the big long beard now big long beard I quite like that and think think really wise thoughts so you can actually if you want you can actually physically brush your fingers on your cheeks as you do that it's quite a useful little because then eventually you don't need to touch your cheeks that's what Eva said she said um, touch your cheeks at first and then just brush past them without them being um without them actually physically touching okay relax your shoulders one more okay we'll do the um scooping the knee one so just turn your foot out and go into a left gong boo and then we well it's called brush the knee you so you have your hands either side of the knee again if you want um yeah just just watch for it for a sec i'll just explain it first and then we'll join in so you can actually if you want physically touch your knee with your little fingers just so you get the hand and then then like before you don't need to touch your leg it's just there as a kind of um bit like if you've got a map and then you put the little flags in the map at the at the at the um, sort of reference points so we go like this two Three, four, five. So this is the basic way. Six, we'll do eight, and then we'll do eight on the other side. Eight, seven. Hang on, let me count correctly. And eight. Fabulous. Okay, have a little shake out. And we'll do do the other side. One. Brush the knee. Two. So either side of the knee, you've got this nice rounded feeling shave from the side. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, so then what we can do is, I'll just show you from this side, you go like this, then you lift up your hands, go into cat stance and press forwards. So have another look i'll show from the side so you come and, and i'm lengthening i'm lengthening through the spine as well and i'm folding here so I come back there's a bit of an opening in the chest then the chest closes and the back opens and then using your back you lift the arms up and then you like that that's it and you're sinking down and there's a little bit of weight it's like you're digging in uh, with the ball of the foot and the toes. And then we'll do that. We'll try five because this is a little bit stronger than the last movement. So we, we probably don't want to do as many. So we go one. Two. Actually, I'll show it from the diagonal. That's probably a bit easier to see. Three. Nice and tall. Sink back. Up. Down. 
four good quality of movement that's it and you press forwards with the hands and five yeah five is plenty isn't it for this one right just so we're not lopsided and we've got a matching pair of legs let's do that with the other foot forward so and I'll, I'll demonstrate it and we'll join in with me along the diagonal um along the diagonal uh, line so and we're not in a hurry one two three four five yeah okay just relax have a look at it from the side so go like this and then I come up and notice that I'm, I'm trying to line up. It can be quite tempted to sort of have your hip out or be, you just want to be, be like this. So you can use your square to check your posture. Let's do five more on each side again, and then we'll, we'll try some other things out. Uh, and I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it from the side view this time, just so you can see it in profile. One, two. So this is quite fresh. I was looking at it this very morning. Three, four. And five. Okay, other side. So before you do anything, make sure your Wu Chi is correct. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Okay, check your posture. Place one hand on top of the other. We'll just do this one. One, two, three. One, two. So it's white crane spreads its wings. A bit closer. And then this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Staying upright, open. Come back. One, two, three. 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 One. Two, three, one, 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one more time, one, two, three, have a little shake out, okay we'll, we'll stop for a short water break and then we'll do more stuff, let's um, Yeah, well, we'll do a bit more silt reeling and then we'll do something that I don't think we've done before or if we have it's been a while. It's a really fun move, you'll love it. Well, you might not, but I, I really like it anyway. Uh, but let's, let's do the big coiling chancy. So we'll come up like this we bring our hands in, we come down, one, two, so all these silk reeling exercises are great for health and coordination and brain confusion, it's all good, six, seven, Eight, let's do two more. Nine and ten. Okay, now we go in the other direction. One big coiling silk. Two, three, four. So it's a good one for your um, kinesthetic awareness five and just sort of noticing what you're sensing six seven eight nine and ten fabulous okay one two three, four, we'll do eight, five, six, seven, and eight, other way, one, two, coiling silk, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, change, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, both together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the next one, it's called Phoenix Turns Its Head. So I'll just show you it. It goes like this. You go up there, you turn the foot out, you turn the foot in. Then you go top hand, bottom hand, and look down. Then you go turn the foot in, bring the hands together, turn the foot out top hand, bottom hand, look down. So we're just going to do this. One, two, actually this, this goes to here, three, four, and keep both your shoulders sunk down, five, 
one, two, three, four, five. So this is what I learned on Tuesday. One, two, three, four, five. It's a qigong exercise. It's uh, one of lots of animals. They do a lot of animals. This is just one of them. I'll have to ask Eva what the other animals are, but you put, point your fingers forward, you point your fingers down, and you sink your hips and you look down. And then... Like that, like that, and then you look down. Top hand, bottom hand, look down. So we'll we'll come back to this one next week. I didn't, you know, top, bottom, look down. And hopefully next week, Ever will have done it again and I'll be even better at it. But this is the... This is what I think she was doing on Tuesday. Let's put it that way. There we go. It's a really good exercise for um, confusing your brain. <laughs> and it's a good one for the neck, actually. And, and these shoulders. It just looks a bit odd. I'd, I'd be careful, you know, if you're in the post office queue, maybe not do this one because we well, might get there earlier. They might let you, they might think, oh, you better go in front then. I don't want to be <laughs> so we'll do one more time each side look down so there's a footwork going on as well great isn't that fab yeah um well, maybe spend a bit longer on it next week because any any questions on that, I'll just pause the video. Any of that bit and that'll be in the video. So yeah, for the for this one, the feet one, two, one, two. So that's what the feet are doing. And then you're on this leg um hang on let me let me yeah so my weight's on that leg and this hand's here and then i'll point my fingers towards that wall and then i'll point my fingers towards that wall you see and then i'm staying upright but i'm looking down with my uh and then it's quite tempting to do that you want to get it just get it to relax because it's a little bit weird and then you look down and then you bring the foot in bring the other foot out check that your feet are in the right place put your weight into that leg this leg um this palm goes towards that wall now this palm comes out towards the bottom wall and then you look down but you want to stay upright it's quite tempting to kind of no you want to stay upright Imagine you're at Kettle's Yard, you're a work of art, you know, one, let's do a couple more each side. So if one, two, three, and we're, we're upright, and that's down. There we go. That's better, isn't it? What a relief. Top hand, bottom hand upright, look down. Fabulous. There we are. Phoenix looks around. I think it's called Phoenix looks down or Phoenix. Phoenix gets up to something. Yeah, it's not really cool. That I'll ask her. I'll phone ever up. What's that Phoenix thing called? Because she um, she mentioned it once and then it it kind of went in there. And then it didn't stay in there very long. It came right out there and then I forgot what its name was, but it's a great it was enough trying to remember all this stuff and it, it reminded me of um i'm sure i've seen egyptian hieroglyphics with i i've seen you know it looks a bit like the egyptian hieroglyphics which is why i like the move so much and i can feel it doing really good things for my neck and my shoulders as well so it's it's a lovely movement 
got nothing to do with Chen style, but I just thought, well, let's just share. So what we'll do is we'll go through the uh, beginning of the form to the first single whip, and I'll do it down that way. And we'll do it, how long have we got? Two times. So here we go. Actually, what I'll do is I'll bring the thing down, then you can see my feet a bit easier. Brilliant, that's it. Okay. So sink your hips. So enclosed Wu Chi to start with. And step out with your left foot. Get a little bit further. Sink down. And just breathe in and out. Make sure your weight is settling just behind the ball of each foot. And it's 50-50. And breathe in. And begin. Show you that from this side. So, like this. It nestles very snugly in there and it comes up vertically and then down. Whoops, I got that wrong. That's better. Yep. And you turn, turn, cross the hands, look down towards your right foot, step out, sink the hips. Sink down here. Push towards the corner. Okay, let's do that again. I'll, I'll be a bit further away from the corner because we're not doing any of the stepping. So get your posture correct. Nice and tall, just gently breathe in and out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left foot steps. Open from underneath. Cross the hands, look down towards the right foot. Push towards the corner. Push towards the corner again into single whip. Step, look towards your left foot. Bring the hand and then single whip okay nice and relaxed sink down let's do this so we'll, we'll have another go at that phoenix move next week because it's good fun isn't it Okay, embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. So we just
and then we'll look extra young today rub the hands together really relax the hands as well nice and relaxed and then we're going to polish our face Uh, rub the hands together again and give the lower back a rub and then nice and relaxed in the shoulders sink the hips feel the feet on the ground breathe in and out And make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, bring your feet together and bow. Great, so those of you that are leaving, well done. Uh, those of you that are staying, we'll have a short pause for a water break and then we'll have a look at seppi shilly, the chopping. Very good. So, right, we've had our water break. So, um, yeah, we'll need to see the feet, so I'll keep I'll keep that that down. So we've got our each one. Remember, you're going um, seventy thirty to fifty fifty. Seventy thirty to fifty fifty, and we're gonna do ping chui shilly. One. So we just we just do a few of those. You want to keep your knee from going forwards. So it's all very like this and we're and we're breathing nice and relaxed that's it and then what you want to do is when your leg gets fed up being that side that's when you change so you want to find out what your natural so rather than doing any particular number and changing just i will try it so we'll, we will get back to the standing exercises as well but it's quite nice to move around so the the elbows come apart and then together and We'll do a few more this side and then I'll explain it a bit more. It's all through the body. Okay, just just relax a sec. So let's let's just think a little bit more about uh, what's going on. So you go forward, down and close, back, up and open. There we are. So think of closing and opening. Okay, let, let's try try a few of the other sides. So just, or you can just do whatever feels natural. You can you can swap them around more if you want. And the elbows go apart and together towards each other, apart and towards each other. And you're holding your foot. So you want to make sure the knee is in line with the toes. Okay, let's try Kaikashini, which is open close. So we was it that way? Open close. Yeah, we'll do it that way. You can do it the other way as well.
I think last week we looked at Fuan Shili, didn't we? And the one where we um, put the put the nails in the post. Okay, now try try the other side. So sink sink down. Okay, nice and relaxed. Okay, so the, the chopping one is your, you go like this. So if you just have a look from the, actually we'll do it without, so we go like this. And uh, what Corel said is imagine you're, you've got a blade attached to your forearm and your little finger and you've got a big, you're, you're, you've got like a big field and you're chopping the long grass with your bladed arms. So you, you just like that, but you keep, you keep a bend in the arm. You keep a bend in both arms. So you're not fully straightening them. You're, you're um, coming out like this. So we'll try it from the front first. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, and eight. And then we try the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, if you do it with a foot forward, it looks like this. One. And we're just doing it slowly, actually. Do it really slowly. Two. And light. Three. So you feel your chest open. Four. And you can also feel it's doing good things for your shoulders. Five. Six. Seven and eight and then just give your arms a bit of a bit of a rest and then we'll try it on the other on the other side so we just get our posture just so and then one two three four five six seven, eight. So eventually it's like this, boom, two. So you do it a bit faster, three, four, five. There you go. Now, now try five quick ones on the other side. So one, two, three, four. Think of it as the back moving. So it's almost like you're one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So that just shake out the basic movement stems from foo bow. Your foo bow. Or Fuan, Fuan Shushili, yeah. So it's from it's from that movement. So we'll just stand there for a bit. Okay, just shake out. Right, the next one is from Gua Gua. It's this one. And then what we do is we have like this. 
so we'll just do it without the without the step in so you've got down actually I'll, I'll move that up now so it goes down and up at the same time so I've just got the um, don't worry so much about the feet so it starts here and it goes so it goes down and up at the same time down and up at the same time down and up at the same time so it's a horizontal cutting horizontal cutting and you so there's a, a counterbalance between the the hand that's going up and the hand to the hand that's going down and you you keep a slight bend in both arms that's it it's quite a good one this okay and then if i just move that down again you are doing going like this and also because you're doing gorgwa there's a slight if you look at where my hands are it's like this so we'll just do do one side and then you can also do it the other side so you go one two one two one two one two five two six seven and eight so don't it's both arms both arms one goes up and one goes down so the up and down are kind of counterbalancing uh counterbalancing one another well, let's try it on the other side so get into a good um cat stance and we go like that like that one two one two one two one two one two one two one more time each side two fabulous okay then what you can do is you can like that so you can do your stepping one two three one two three one two three one we'll do this next week as well two three just to get a bit more practice one two three just try it out we'll we'll look at detail next week try it again one last one two three fabulous just shake out um with the this one you can go like this so that's a good one for the chest so one two three here we go just join in when you feel like it I've only got room to do three though, but if you've got more room to do more, then do go for it. So So this is called the follow step. So you follow step because it follows. And it's it's one of the ones they use in um Xing Yichuan. Okay, we'll uh, let those go. Let's just go back to our upward and sideways punching. Um, we'll have a look at downward as well, but I'm going to ask Corella about it on Tuesday night about the downward punch. But the, the upward punch, we'll do it slow. One, two, 
three don't forget your other arm four five six seven and eight other side get your posture and we'll do something soft and light afterwards one two three four five six seven eight okay round punch one two three four five six seven and eight round punch on the other side so the the hand it's like you're turning a wheel one two three four five six seven and eight lovely okay so that was quite sort of yang so let's have a look uh one of the things that's an important part of the each one syllabus is the health dance so let's um yeah so just get into a not particularly enthusiastic horse dance and we're just practicing feeling our weight shift from side to side we're all nice and really loosen and lighten your body now so remember heavy as mother earth soft as water light as air so you want to be soft as water in the body and light as air in the arms so and, and heavy as mother earth in the legs um and we'll just go we'll just go back to this one so we're doing the um, inside turn but in a bigger stance so again you want to watch the alignment of your knees you want nice strong solid legs and light soft arms so it's good to do something soft after you've been doing all this yang type punchy and choppy stuff um there's a diagonal chop as well but um we didn't do that one i'm gonna ask i'll ask corelle about it and we're, we're tall through the tall through the spine get yourselves nice and tall and we're all breathing fabulous very good okay right now um yeah let's do this without the turn so you sink your weight across and you bend your elbow so this bit this is a bit like you know when you get the meerkats and they say simples it's a bit like that <laughs> or half a meerkat that's it yeah you got it you got it darren very good very good I, I really like meerkats. They just make me happy. I think they're brilliant. So now you turn and now you've got this roundy thing going on. I'll show you that from the back. So we're, and we're, we're sinking here. You want to sink those, sink those hips. Oh, I'm going to have to give this room a hoover. Oh dear. Dreadful. Laura Henry, I've got Henry Hoover, he's lovely. There we go. And we're all breathing. That's it. Okay, so there's that one. Now try outwards. Outwards. That's it. Yeah. So that's another one you can do. And then you can also do this one. So I call it swiping the last toilet roll off the supermarket shelf. <laughs> swipe, swipe, swipe. So, okay, let, let's do a little bit of footwork now because I've got the, the thing down. So you've got this one And you can also do a double one two one two and keep keep everything nice and light two one 
two and you're light on your feet more light on your feet um you've also got your zigzags two three four one two three we'll stick the arms in in a minute i'm just giving you some footwork so the idea is is you're light and agile you want to get you want to get this light and agile feeling okay and then you've also got this one one two three one two three one two three. so these are these are all footworks you can do when you're doing your health dance and then if you want you can oh now this one's quite fun so you go onto that leg and then you go in that direction so you and then you can go backwards i'll show you from the side so one two i'm not so hot on these one two three four one two three four one two three Oh, oh no i messed that one up that's better so i did this so i went hop hop so it's, it just means that you can be moving around and then you change you can you can change your direction of movement you see very quickly so you're going that way and then you go that way and then you're going that way and then you're going that way but it's it takes a little bit of practice and it will quite a lot of dedicated practice and i'm a little bit yeah but never mind. Um, and then you've also got your boom, 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 boom. So you can. It kind of reminds me a bit of horses. Du, 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 du. So um, then what you can do is you can put that together into your health dance. But I recommend. And you've also got upward, upward movements, downward movements. So all these movements you can do that we've done. And then you, you basically make it up. So this is a thing. So you're very light, you're very agile, you're nimble, and you're you're doing your little health dance. So this is like the closest thing I think um, Chinese internal arts comes to jazz. And you can just yeah, just make up something, and it's just move, move around, and you can. You can spin round and then we'll we'll have a look at tree chi gung as well open close you've got your chops and um you can also do a fighting dance but we're calming down so we'll just stick with a health dance for now it's quite good because you get you can't do this wrong it's however you're working but you want to try and engage your arm movements with your body and connect everything up that's just great fun to do okay and then let's uh come to come to your unenthusiastic horse stance and we'll just swing and we'll do a bit of tree qigong to finish off this is another thing that the Kaskubas learnt in China. And there was a whole group of people doing this tree qigong for hours and hours and hours. And their push hands was phenomenal, apparently. Because what you do is you go from one foot to the other and you can be a high tree. You can be a high tree, you can be a low tree. You can be a medium tree. So or you can be a combination you can use body movements and then you do this as partner work but you want to keep your arms very light and almost unintentional so it's difficult to tell where you're going to move next so this is tree tree gong um, there's lots of it on YouTube apparently tree chi gong and health dance and everyone I've got to do some research on that they said everyone's got their own version of tree chi gong and everyone's got their own version of health dance and a lot of the Yichuan 
practitioners, the big masters of each one, they're doing really good health dances. So there we go. So it's quite nice to do something, have a little shake out, nice and soft after you've been doing your chopping and your punching. It's it's nice to just get get into your body again, nice and solid and relaxed in the body. So let's just come back to this one. And while you're doing that, I will readjust the laptop lid so we can do triple heater exercise. So triple heater is a very good, um, very good one for. OK, so triple heater. So you like this, you gently lift the heels off the floor slightly. And then you press down with your palms. And then you come up, go onto the balls of each foot, push out, open and down. And then you come up, now drop the elbows, bring the hands up, onto the toes, push up with the palms of the hands, and then you come down. And then we do two repetitions. And while you're doing this, you want to keep very calm. And then onto the toes. Tall through the body. Last repetition. Nice. find that one quite tricky being up on the toes there. Nice and tall through through the body. Embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. Just sink down to so keep it nice and relaxed. Sink the hips. Lengthen through the spine. So yeah, those of you, um, just to remind you that in the video of this, because I forgot to record the beginning part, that won't be on there obviously, but it's fine. That will go up as soon as I can. So we'll just do a few more of these. And then we'll do Alison Warlow's brushing exercise. Okay, one more time. Okay, so you rub your hands together again, and then we brush the face. So we're brushing the face. Brush behind your ears, brush the back of the neck, brush your arm. Brush your other arm. Brush your back. Brush down the front. Brush the legs, the front of the legs. Brush the back of the legs. Ah, that's great. And then stand with your hand on your lower dantian. Just breathe in and out for a bit. And make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, bring your feet together and bow. Great. So those of you that are leaving, well done. Those of you that are saying, we'll do some swords now. So grab your sword and then we'll, we'll start with a um, downward X and upward X. So we're going to do that. Thanks a lot. Well done. That was great. 
I really enjoyed that. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Now we'll carry on next week. So, downwards X. So we're just doing this. Downward X. Downward X. Cool. And again, you can watch this on the video. So we're going down the diagonal line. We're going down the diagonal line. Down with X, that's it. So it starts from the top shoulder and comes down the diagonal line. It goes to the shoulder, down the diagonal line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, upward X with the same hand, so your right hand. So watch first. So you go up. The diagonal line then you bring the sword down and then you go up the diagonal line i'll show it again up the diagonal line watch out for lampshade sorry up the diagonal line and then we'll go uh hang on oh mm, problem is if i move it let's try that up the diagonal line. right join in join in i'll go a bit further away from the lampshade now watch out for lights and cups of tea and stuff. So we're, we're using, use your body, turn the waist, and it's in the legs and the waist, the movement. The arm you want to relax and you want the grip, not too much, not too little, just right. I've lost count. Let's do it the other side. So we, we start with a downward X with the other arm. Downward X, 10, and then upward X, 10. One, two, better. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Upward X, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, horizontal low chop. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So use your body. Transfer the weight. Use your body. Seven. Transfer the weight. Use the body. Eight. Keep the blade horizontal. Nine. Ten. So this isn't. This is a machete. It's not well a blunt machete. It's not technically a broadsword. But if I brought the broadsword in. I wouldn't have enough room, so this is this will have to do. Other side, one. Other hand, that's it. Two. Horizontal, three. Four. Lovely. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Fabulous. Okay, let's have a look at horizontal higher cut. We start here. One, two. So again, you're using your body. Three, and you're keeping a bend in that arm. Four, think about using your back to cut. Five, and your legs. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. And it's whistling through the air. Blade level. Nine. And ten. 
fabulous okay other side and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay let's try try that one so just have a look i shall show it from the side so it comes around in like a figure eight and you're pointing the point you want to point the point so the point is leading it's a bit tricky it's also very tempting to poke yourself in the leg with it trying to resist that, that temptation Okay, now try that with the other hand. So circle, 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 circle. That's it. So we can also do it as a footwork exercise. So I just have my hand on my shoulder and you go like this. Turn that. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me um, move that down a bit. But not too much. Otherwise we'll be. Uh... So it's like this. So you turn the foot out. You lift the foot. Two. Three. Four. Run out of room one two three four five one two three four so you turn the foot to the corner five and then one more line one two good three four and five then what you do is you go like this one two three four five and we just we're going round in the circle round in the circle two three without poking yourself in the leg because that's not healthy so don't poke yourself in the leg. <laughs> Naughty. Yeah. Oh, don't damage the walls <laughs> with your sword. This is really hazardous. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't really trade indoors with these things. But never mind. We're we're kind of. Um, hopefully, when the weather's a bit better, I'll I'll teach this class outside, and then I'm less worrying about furniture and stuff. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I keep bunning, running, bump, uh, bumping into the wall, but never mind. So we're, we're going like this. Okay, now try that with your other hand for fun.
Right, we'll do it, do a few more and then we'll do some of the ones where you bring the sword along the back. The four, five. Very nice. Okay, next demonstration. We did this last week. So we went that way and then we brought it back. We missed the oh I hit the wall and then we went like that. Right, I'm getting a bit further away from the wall. Brilliant. Hopefully Mike will never see this video where I nearly wrecked his wall. There we go round. It goes round the back and then you chop down diagonally like this. Whew. Rah! Try it again. Perfect. Right, there we go. Go one, two, and it's like you're whoosh, getting a fly. And then you go, hang on. Ah, what am I doing? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me just get this right. One, two, three. That's it. One, two, three. One, and you're sinking down. Three. Actually, you can do it that way. That's it. I've got it right now. Sorry about that. It was a bit rubbish earlier. One, two, three. 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 Nice. So if you're really bored at home, but do this in your garden. Um, if you haven't got a gun, that maybe maybe just use a stick if you're in the park, rather than, you know, you get, yeah, even with a blunt blade, you can't really practice out, unless you're doing a demonstration in a big group of you. Okay, right. One, two, three, the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, I'll get away from that wall now. Two, three. <laughs> One, two. So I'm sinking, I'm sinking in my hips and my legs. Two, three. One, two three one two three one two three and one two three fabulous right next what you can do we'll just have the sort we can go like this you bring so you get like that and then you go like that and then you go like that so that's the footwork and then what you go you go one two three one two so I'm, I'm actually I'm stepping behind or you can step in front and behind we can step behind so you can you do this It's almost like you're doing a little sword dance. So, not recommended when you're in the disco, though. Be a bit dangerous, wouldn't it? Unless you're on your own. There we go. So I'm using my other hand. So close. This is a bit like your seppi shilly. Whoops. Watch out for bookshelves. Oh dear, this is getting dangerous, isn't it? Right, try it with the other hand, just for completion's sake. Two three one i'm gonna go super slowly so i don't wreck the room i'm in two three yikes one two three one two and you're you're sinking so you you're like this and then you like this 
and then you're like that. It's all very, whoa, I'm gonna, I'll stop on this one because I'm frightened I'm gonna smash something. Okay, right, now what we can do is we'll do our downward chop. So we'll go like that and we'll do 10. Right, here we go. Ready, breathe and begin. One, two, keep your hand up. Three, nice, four, and it actually goes on your hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That was so good, we'll do it on the other side, but I will demonstrate first. Demonstration. So this is, it's like that with a hand, but above your head like that. And then the back of the blade, the back of the blade rests on that hand. So it's like a little perch for your, for your sword. And this is horizontal above your head. And this is nice and, and stretched here. And then we're going to do 10 and get your best sleepy tiger eye gaze. Ready and begin. One, away from the bookshelf, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, when when I go outside, we'll start looking at the um, we'll start looking at the sword form. Um, yeah, let's just go. Oh, we've not done this one yet. Let's do that one. So. So you can use your other hand if you want. So it's quite a nice one as a sort of calming down exercise. And think about your the point of the sword. Okay, now try it with the other hand. And one more. Okay, and then we'll do cutting the grass. So this is where we do the zigzag step. And we do the zigzag step. One, two, three. One, two, three. And at the same time, we cut the grass. One, two, three. Watching out for not bashing things. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, whoops, three. So try and keep the blade horizontal like I failed to do just now. So it's horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Horizontal. Horizontal, 
horizontal fabulous one two three so I move together three okay try that with the other hand one two three one two three one two three watch out for the wall <laughs> one two watch out for the windows <laughs> three watch out for the bookshelf okay let's put the sword down as i didn't manage to smash anything this time and i want to keep it that way great otherwise we'd have a smashing time and that would be a bit wrong so um yeah let's just nice and relaxed get into a nice horse stance and we'll go back to silk reeling number one so we'll just do our silk reeling we'll do it eight times each each arm three four that wind's been very windy today five six seven and eight fabulous right now the other side one two three four five six seven eight okay back to this one one two three so it's nice to do something really to kind of help ease the back out for after all that hard work with a sword oh my goodness five six great fun though it is <laughs> seven We'll do 10 of these because it's a nice move. Eight, nine, 10. Fabulous. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, we'll go back to this one. Oh, do, it, do it big. Do it really big. Oh, we're just, we're just sorting out our lower, our backs. So all nice and floppy fied with the arms, get your waist turn, and then what we'll do is we'll go down like that and we just sort of move your arms like that and then do, do that one. So you just swing it uh, and like that. And then bend your knees, come up, oh, bring your feet in. Three of these. One more time. Nice and tall. Embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. So after doing stuff that's sort of strenuous, it's always good to do something very soft, very light. Really tune into your feet. Tune into the feet. Feel nice, solid. Solid feeling through the ground. That's wonderful. Relax the arms, relax the hands. Nice and tall. Just take a few slow deep breaths. Really feel that you've got a solid connection to the ground, You're correctly lined up, aligned, You've got good posture. Make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top. Bring your feet together and bow. Woo. Good 